fishing today i have my two yo-yo set up this is my 50 reel my 50 avid with my 80 pound braid my tough line braid and here i have a snap swivel now what a planer does if you guys are not familiar is this is a, basically a weight that allows a mechanism that allows you to get your bait when you're trolling a lot deeper so when i'm trolling i have this little sliding ring in my snap swivel it's going to be diving down here this is a weighted portion right here and this plate right here as it's pushing against the water it's going to keep it from rising up it's just going to keep pushing it down and down and down now i have my rig with either a spoon or a strip like you guys are about to see attached to this side and when a fish takes it it goes flat like that and it trips the planer and now you're not fighting against the planer but the planer's just gliding through the water so let me show you guys how it actually works in action so what you do is you get a big yo-yo like this here i have a drone spoon in blue 60 pound fluorocarbon leader rick's gonna put the boat in gear she's putting it in idle and i got anywhere from 50 to 100 feet of 50 pound mono attached to leader some people like to use wire some people like to use mono we use fluorocarbon because you get a little bit more abrasion resistance in case you do get kings wahoo and stuff like that we're almost to the end now i have a, another snap swivel what the snap swivels allow you to do it's just an easier way of rigging and keeping things organized and you need a good ball bearing snap swivel otherwise your rig and your planer nothing's just gonna you need something that spins properly in the water otherwise your presentation will be off so i snap that on there go like this and i take my planer rod i let it go slack my planer dives down it's going straight down and this is going to be the far rod so i'm going to let it out far you got to keep your planer separated you got to have one far and one close put it a little bit higher brooke i'm going to be trolling around eight knots so let that guy go so I'm letting them go probably 100 feet back behind the boat because when you're trolling two planers, they will get tangled unless you separate them. And you'll know when your planer is set right because your rod's going to be way doubled over because there's a lot of resistance. You fish just enough drag so that way your, your line's not coming off your reel with the resistance of the planer. When I say planer fishing, this is what I'm referring to. This is a planer and what it does is during the middle of the day or in the morning or afternoon, a lot of times fish are not up top. So when you're drifting and you have baits up on top, you're not covering the entire water column. But when you troll with planers, what planers allow you to do is it gets your bait down deep when you troll. And number two, you can cover a lot of water because you are trolling. So what this little sucker does is I will have my reel here. You want a reel, uh, a reel with enough torque, preferably a two speed reel. I have an Abbott 50 here. Anything in the 30, 50, 80 size range works. 50 and 80 is a little overkill, but it's better to be over prepared offshore than under prepared for sure. I have 80 pound braid here. 50, 80, 100 pound braid is normally what guys use for planer fishing, attached to a ball bearing snap swivel. Now, it's really important not to skimp out on a good snap swivel because what this guy will do is when you're trolling at such a high speed, six, eight knots, your um your planer and uh, your bait and your rig and everything is trying to fight you and it's fighting the resistance of the water so naturally your leader is going to want to spin to prevent your leader from spinning and getting all messed up you need a good ball bearing swivel that'll prevent that from happening so you have your swivel and you come down here you attach it to your planer just like so and what the planer does so as it's going through the water this part is going down the boat's going that way and as it's going this plate is pushing against the water and it's actually bringing it down until it reaches its desired depth which is based on the size of the planer how fast you're trolling your line and your leader so that's what's happening there and then when a fish hits it so your leader your rig your bait is on this end when a fish hits it it goes like this so the planer trips and now it glides through the water and now you're you're not fighting against your planer Otherwise, this is what's, what you're normally doing to get your planer down deep, and when it trips, it goes like that. So if you don't have bait, you don't want to spend money on strips, and you want to catch a lot of fish, this is a secret lure that Brooke and I love to use. This is a drone spoon. This is a blue one. They make them in all sorts of different colors. We've caught kingfish on it, uh, Bonita today, and this guy, we got pretty much half, half and half of action between the spoon and the strip. 
So this guy right here, this is the secret bait. This is that secret offshore bait you guys should definitely have in your arsenal when it comes to offshore trolling with planers.